single economics that can justify the food side. Um, and maybe there's this uh, labs comes into it, a bit of science really comes into it. So if, if a career in like as a chef would interest you, there's actually a lot of different kind of parts to that job than just actually cooking food. But you have to really like food, first of all. You have to be passionate about it because you have to work a lot of hours and you know, and, that, and if you don't like it, then that's going to be very difficult to do. But you'll find that most jobs are different. And I think even Sarah might admit that <laughs> some days you don't want to go to work. So. But for you guys at the minute, you're in a great position in Northern Ireland and at your age where you're going to have opportunities that I never would have had, you know, and especially for the girls. Um, there's way more happening in Northern Ireland at the minute, whether it's with food production, whether it's uh, food science or whether it's actually in the hospitality or the catering industry and that, that means that if you choose food as a path or something to do with that, there's going to be a wide range of careers that that will take you into, whether it's cooking in the kitchen or managing restaurants or hotels, working in labs or, you know, agriculture, all, all those things. How does it feel to be the only female Michelin star chef in Ireland? Yeah, well, it's a big achievement, I suppose, personally, um, and it's, you know, it's nice to see your name in a newspaper or to hear your name on the radio or the TV and be, and be recognised because, you know, you, it is a lot of hard work and a lot of it's very much in the background and it's thankless most days. Um, so obviously to achieve something like that is massive, but obviously I don't want to be the only female mission star chef. I want to be more, so, you know, I see it now as my responsibility to encourage girls and to say that it is a career path that you can take. And to get to like a Michelin star level takes a lot of commitment and obviously a certain amount of skill. But most of it's just education. Just, you know, reading, learning, listening and taking everything in. But so we get a lot of tourists from America over as well because this is a soldier's mine road, which was when the GI soldiers were over in the Second World War, they set up camp here and they basically built themselves a road because of the location to the international airport and the flight space. Obviously the yeah, that airport wasn't there at the time, but that flat field or the field was always there. Um, so they set up camp here. Um, we believe it's haunted. I think the building's definitely haunted. Um, sometimes you'll hear the hand dryer going and off and the ladies and there won't be anybody in there. Um, this room is named after Winnie. Winnie Clennahan was the last of the original family that lived here when it was a house. And it go that goes back to like 1875. Mm -hmm. um, put in, but um, anything, all the stonework is all here. The kitchen we had to put in brand new whenever we came because um, it was on there before and there were two bars. Um, which we, one we now use as a dessert bar, so if you come for dinner, you can actually sit up and watch the chef make your dessert um, and help. We'll have to say that, won't we? So quiet because the boys work really hard. Yes. <laughs> they're only so quiet. <laughs> no, they, yeah, they're always, like, always this quiet. <laughs> Everyone.